And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you some very interesting but very shocking breaking news that happened yesterday and um, if you have not heard from um, all the sources out there it's everywhere it's Twitter, Facebook, I think Instagram has it as well that there are reports and I think it's been confirmed this morning that Warner Brothers and you know Warner Brothers Discovery has decided to cancel the Batgirl movie. Yeah, so that actually happened. Why? Apparently, according to them, according to the you know the people who are reporting this stuff, it didn't test well with with you know the test screening did not test well with audiences. And I'm thinking to myself, self, who's watching this movie? Well, could be a number of people. Could be fans like you and me. Could be old guys who have no idea what the heck a, a DC movie is, let alone a, what a comic book is. You know, a bunch of old guys who live who literally work in a boardroom all day long and just sit there with their ties and have their cup of coffee and have no idea what's a Batgirl, have anything to do with their business, but okay. Could be, could be at multiple things. Could be in fact that they got canceled because of the whole... Ezra Miller thing and the whole timeline thing kind of screwing up with with the Flash's movie. It could be a million different things we just don't know. It is unfortunate the fact that we have to hear that this movie is never going to see the light of day because everybody who worked in, who was involved with this film, from the actors all the way to the guy who gets the bagels in the morning, you know, they all worked hard to make this movie, make this a fun product for people to watch and go go watch and eat in theaters or HBO Max or whatever. And uh, it's a bummer that, you know, things like this happen. But it's like one of those situations where, well, now what? I mean, I, I really hope that they decide to maybe change their mind and put it back. Apparently, a Scooby-Doo sequel movie was supposed to come out as well. That also got scrapped. So, okay, Scooby-Doo has been around for thousands of years, but, you know, whatever. But that was supposed to be the new Scooby movie, a sequel to that. I got scrapped. Apparently, was you know working on it now. I had no idea. Apparently, that got scrapped as well. So it looks like Warner Brothers Discovery is really chopping down all the stuff from the old era, so that way they can make room for the new era. And I can understand that. Unfortunately, it's just that you're doing it in a, in a weird way. You have a movie that's literally finished. Like, literally, like, oh, yeah, we can make a trailer tonight and be like, yeah, we can put it out tomorrow. No, it's canceled. No, 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 but we got a good trailer. No, it's canceled. You see, it just makes no sense. You know, they had, they had the movie. The guys who could make the trailers and the mark, start marketing and stuff probably had all the soup, you know, all the merchandise ready to go and everything, you know, with pictures of Batgirl and on T-shirts and, oh, of course, Michael Keaton's Batman as well. You know, ready to go, and then they're like, "Yeah, take it to the dump and just give it a bit." It really just sucks. It really does because honestly, it's like, why did this movie has to get punished? I mean, there's another movie out there with you know starring Helen <clears throat> Miller, excuse me, that um, you know, he should be fired. He should be fired right now, and yet you know, we still get in his movie. Now, granted, I still want to see Supergirl, but that's a whole different situation. You know, they already, he already ruined that, so why punish the other movies? What's next? Blue Beetle? I really hope not, because honestly, Blue Beetle looks awesome, just from the pictures we've seen. And it could be an awesome move. We just don't know. It's like taking a gamble, and you get it ready. You have all the chips, you put it all in, and then you go, oh, never mind. Forget it. I'm not going to do it. That, you know, movies are there to make risks. And of course, some movies like, succeed. And then some movies fail, and then you brush it off and you move on. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. Not just be like, hmm, this looks cheesy. Yeah, a lot of people don't like you as Batgirl because you're half Latino, half, you know, black. So let's forget about that. It's stupid. Like, seriously, I, I, I really hope that's not the case because, honestly, if it is, that's really shady and horrible because, honestly, she, the girl who plays Batgirl does not deserve this. It's like, seriously... And poor Michael Keaton. I mean, come on. You get the guy that come out of retirement to literally play Batman again. And and this guy's not going to even get a chance to. I mean, granted, we're going to see him in The Flash. But who knows how, many, how much screen time he has in that one. 
you know? While certain other people are out there harassing, you know, normal people in Hawaii, you know, his movie's still there, and he, yeah, granted, he's still, he's a star, but still, you know? Like, if they would've, like, if I had to choose between canceling the Batgirl movie or canceling the, the Flash movie, I'll just cancel the Flash movie. I'd rather have the Batgirl movie because, honestly, at least with that, we get to see Batgirl on the big screen, a half black, half Latino actress playing that character and bringing it to life, and it would have been awesome. And then still get Michael Keaton. And getting Firefly on the big screen for the first time, that would have been really cool. You know, so you know, we never seen Firefly, and Brendan Fraser would have been cool as Firefly. So, you know, and plus, i seen the set photos and videos, and it looked pretty epic, so. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure they, they screen test this for old guys in business suits and have no idea what a DC movie is, or even a comic book movie is. And then like, holding their champagnes or whatever it is, and smoking their cigars, like, how is this gonna make us money? And they're like, okay, not gonna work for you guys? Let's get rid of it. I really hope that's not the case though, because honestly, I don't know, we, we just don't know. But it's unfortunate. It sucks that we can't see this movie now. And now I'm going to start hearing the release the Batgirl cut. Or whatever the heck you want to call it for the hashtag. Which makes more sense to do than the Snyder cut. But anyway. Hopefully we can do get that movement going. Maybe we'll get to check this movie out. And, you know. You figure. Okay. If it's that bad of a film. Why not just drop it on HBO Max? Oh yeah. It's not going to make money. Keep it on HBO Max. Oh, wait. This looks like it's going to be a good movie. It might make some money. Put it in theaters and give it a shot. And I'm pretty sure that's what the real reason was. Could be wrong. But I feel like they're like, yeah, this movie's not going to do good. And people are not going to go and subscribe who doesn't have HBO Max to go see a Batgirl movie. And people are not going to go rush out in the movie theaters to go see this movie even though this movie supposedly takes place after the Flash movie because it's supposed to be the, the Flashpoint storyline in somewhat shape or form to set up the new DC era. But then, you know, now there's rumors that Ben Affleck is back, that he might actually come back as Batman. So what does that mean moving forward? No idea. So are they going to just get rid of, you know, maybe eventually do a Batgirl movie in his universe instead of having them, this version of with, you know, I think it's Leslie Grace. I probably butcher her. I, I apologize. With her as Batgirl, with Michael Keaton. Because I'm pretty sure that movie was going to be its own timeline. And then with the Flashpoint movie, it was just going to set up it as in the main DCEU timeline. And that was going to be the new DCEU. But but if Ben Affleck is back and he's maybe, maybe they decide, hmm, maybe we should just keep the, the actual DC Snyderverse people and, you know, move forward with that. Who knows? I, I just feel like it's just a bummer. I mean, I was looking forward to seeing the, the Batgirl movie because it looked it pretty interesting. And, you know, I like Batgirl. Who doesn't like Batgirl? Right? Batgirl's awesome. But um, I really wanted to see it. I really wanted to see her, you know, be on the big screen for the first time, literally. No, I don't count the other ones. You know, that doesn't count. So yeah, that doesn't exist in my universe. So, yeah, that's Lisa still so whatever her name is. Yeah, that one sucks. So, yeah, this one would have been the real Batgirl. And the only Batgirl movie that we needed. Anyway. And I really wanted to see Michael Keaton come back as Batman. Because, honestly, I mean, if Harrison Ford can come back as Indiana Jones and kick butt, which we all know he will, I really wanted to see what Michael Keaton would have done as Batman again. Just seeing what his, his character arc would have been after Batman Returns. Because, technically, yeah, Batman Forever is technically him. But also, you know, George Clooney, technically him, but not really. So it would have been interesting to see what Michael Keaton's Batman would have been done all those decades later. You know, what happened to Selena? You know, what ha you know what he does, who's the new villains that he's been fighting throughout the decades that he's been Batman after the death of Penguin and Joker, you know? So what does Gotham look like after the Batman Returns? And now we're not going to get it because honestly... I feel like Warner Brothers Discovery has no idea what to do with the DC Universe. And, um, no idea. But maybe they'll surprise us and, and make something 
great out of it. Maybe they like, okay, we're gonna cancel this, but we're gonna refix the Ciderverse or something. Give us Man of Steel 2 for Christ's sakes. You know, but um man, it's unfortunate for everybody involved with that film. I really feel sorry for everybody involved because you know, they don't get the chance to shine, you know. Michael Keane, you know, Michael Keane's getting to that point where he's gonna have to start quitting acting soon because he's gonna get super old and he you know, we have to, you know, make sure he's okay. You know, but he looks great now and we wanted to see him shine in this movie. And then the poor girl who's playing Batgirl, you know, she would have really been great. And, you know, a lot of people probably would have liked it, her as Batgirl. And those haters out there who don't like her, you know, they can go play with themselves somewhere else. You know, seriously. It's like everybody complains about everything. It's like, why? Just let this thing come out and let's see. Let's judge it for ourselves. You know, a lot of people thought Top Gun wasn't going to be good. It's a sequel to the original. And look what happened with that movie. Made over a billion dollars. But I guess Batgirl will never see the light of day again. And R.I.P. to Batgirl. And maybe we can try to, you know, set up a um, hashtag release the Batgirl movie or something. Maybe somebody will start that somewhere. But, um, yeah. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about all of this drama behind Batgirl. Do you think it's because... The test screens were super bad and they're like, yeah, forget about this movie. Or you actually think that there's something more shady to it. I I, I believe in something else. I, I seriously don't think that test screens have to do with anything. I really hate that whole, oh, let's test screen a movie and see how people react. You know how you test screen a movie and see if people like it? You put it on in movie theaters and if it makes money, it's a success. If it doesn't make money, it's a failure. That's how you test screen a movie. You don't just like have test screens for these executive suits and just be like, well, what do you guys think of the movie? <sighs> What's this about again? It makes no sense. Business guys, so stick to the business of making the movies and let the, the artists and the you know actors and actresses focus on making the products for you to make the money and let that happen. But I guess we'll never know now. R.I.P. to Batgirl. It's sad that it's not going to be, you know, see the light of day, light of day. And um, now we have to always see what Warner Brothers does next. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good day.